皆さん、こんにちは。Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Shoko Yoneyama, Program Coordinator of Bachelor of Languages and Diploma in Languages. First, Um, I'd like to acknowledge and pay our respects to the Ghana people, the traditional custodians whose ancestral lands we gather on. We acknowledge the deep feelings of attachment and relationship of the Ghana people to country, and we respect and value their past, present, and ongoing connection to the land and cultural beliefs. And secondly, I'd like to congratulate you all. For choosing to do Bachelor of Languages or Diploma in Languages. It means a lot of things, but most importantly, it means that you have given yourself a whole lot of new opportunities job opportunities, study and scholarship opportunities, and meeting with new people, traveling to new places, understanding different cultures, different ways of life, and you might even find your new identity in a different context. I'd now like to introduce discipline coordinators of languages. I won't、uh, read out one by one, but you can find、uh, the coordinator of the language that you study. So we have eight languages at the university Adelaide, Adelaide、uh, French, German, Spanish, Chinese, and Japanese, plus three others Italian, Indonesian, and modern Greek, taught by Flinders University cross institutionally. Here, I listed only Adelaide University coordinators. Let's look at the program structure of Bachelor of Languages. There are two options. One is a double major in languages. In the first year, you take one arts core competency course plus two language courses, like Japanese 1A and 1B, for instance. In addition, you take another language, French 1A and 1B. For instance. So, this is a list of arts core competency courses. It includes, interestingly, three courses on Indigenous people, which is fantastic. Indigenous people will be even more important in future in Australia. And if I were a first year student, I would definitely be taking one of these courses. Now, So, this is an example in the case of Japanese、um, uh, major in Japanese. So, as I said, you take two、um, courses Japanese 1A, 1B in the first year. In the second year, 1A, 2B, plus one、uh, Japan or, or Asia related culture course. And in the third year, 3A, 3B, plus another、uh, culture related course, which can even also be translated translation course in linguistics. Second option of Bachelor of Languages is to have major in linguistics instead of one language major. You study only one language in this case, but supplement it with a deeper understanding of linguistics. This is a great combination also. This is a structure of diploma in languages, which is more for domestic Australian students only.、Uh, in diploma in languages, you study only one language. One course per semester, six in all. Plus, you have one culture course at level two and three, so you take eight courses altogether. In order to combine this with your bachelor degree, you will need to stagger the process,、uh, adjust the, the progress a little bit,、uh, and you have one extra year to complete both your bachelor degree and this diploma. In other words, you can complete your studies in four years instead of three. As to how to set your study plan, it is best to contact the faculty office. So, this is a contact of faculty office.、Uh, if you have any questions about the course to take or your study plan, contact faculty office, please. The most important learning platform for you is my uni, which looks like this.、Uh, this is my page.、Um, Make sure that you can access each of your courses in my uni, or it might be called Canvas. This is where course coordinators communicate with the students in their courses. Watch for notifications and read all the announcements carefully.、Uh, please look at it every day.、Uh, please note that academic staff do not provide assistance with technical assistance with my uni. 
Um, so for that, uh, please contact um, uh, my union uh, technicians. Uh, they are approachable in various many, 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 many ways. Now, here are some tips about studying languages successfully. First of all, most importantly, attendance is vital. Don't miss any single class and keep up with regular assignments and tests. There will be many of them. The key is to study regularly in small chunks. Rule of thumb is that for one hour of class, you need to do one hour follow-up study. It is also very important that you check emails with the University of Adelaide address every day, twice a day if possible. University emails are official means of communication and you cannot afford to miss it. So how to enjoy your studies, be enthusiastic, uh, be in control, uh, you study because you want to and be flexible. You know, the situations can change because of COVID, but don't get too stressed out by that. Um, academic staff here are uh, here to support, but we don't follow up students to complete each assignment and so on. So just be independent uh, to learn to be an independent learner. Uh, things to consider, time management is so vitally important, particularly in the second half of the semester when all the assignments uh, get due, so you have to have a very good plan to manage them all. Um, important university dates, uh, they are called critical dates or academic year dates. I want to go through them all, but um, uh, please check out these uh, two different kinds of dates. Additional study uh, support is available. There are many of them. Uh, most important is a writing center and studio city. Uh, they are there to help you with writing. Uh, counseling services support. So when you have any issues, uh, just uh, don't hesitate to contact them. They are extremely supportive and helpful people. Uh, I encourage you to join language student club and associations. There are many, uh, at least one for each language. Uh, I know that Japanese club is really, really very active. Lots of fun. Stay connected with all sorts of um, social media and other connections. So what's next? Um, make sure that you have, you're happy with your enrollment. Uh, if not, uh, contact Ask Adelaide as soon as possible. Uh, activate your MyUni account, organize your student ID card if you haven't already, and get uh, contact and get access to student email account. And check out also arts orientation course on MyUni. So um, that's all I have time for. See you on 22nd of February, which could be today um, from 11.45 uh, at Lower Nepia LG28. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you there. You can ask all sorts of questions there. Okay, thank you. That's all from me. Bye for now.